<sighs> Hi. I'm quitting my job. It might be the stupidest thing that I've ever fucking done, but I really don't have a choice. And this video is probably the stupidest fucking thing I've ever done, but hi. And uh, guess what? I'm a gross, nasty bitch. And I'm about to completely destroy um, my Depop store, and none of you are ever going to buy my merch. Ever. And I know that we're supposed to have boundaries, and that... Well, you know what? Nobody ever won American Idol with boundaries. And y'all subscribe because you think we're friends. And my life sucks again. And when I watched American Idol, I was like, fuck, when you get sob stories, people listen to your talents or whatever bullshit. But on YouTube, they more just like, I don't know, try to control your life or something. And I kind of like, like people telling me what I want to do, but I only like them telling me what I already wanted to do. And I want to quit my job and cam full time, but okay, this is it's bad and gross, and I'm probably gonna lose subscribers. But I got fucking bed bugs, and you know, first I tried Crossfire and it didn't work, and uh, like really didn't work, and um, I spent like three hundred dollars because I got a shit ton of it, and I soaked everything in it all the cracks and crevices the mattresses the couches all the furniture all my box springs fucking everything it didn't work there are like all these bugs like 40 feet from my house dead everywhere except the bed bugs bed bugs are fucking like these motherfuckers are jacuzzi in it and then i gave up trying to do it by myself and i called my landlords and they were like well you're a nasty dirty gross person and fuck you and you're paying for it. Give us $1,000. I gave them 1000 for exterminators. And it didn't work. And the exterminators and the apartments were like, fuck you, you're retarded. You did everything wrong. And I talked to the exterminator before, like, both of the times that he was here and he did it. And I was like, did I do it right? Did I do it right? Is everything okay? And he was like, yes, yeah, it's okay. I just need the stuff off of the couch so I can treat it. And then I was like, okay. And um, the only thing that I'm worried about... um. He said that the only thing that he was worried about was sh the shit on the couch. Like, if they told me that I had to do all these other things, like, I would have fucking done it. And, um, like, I, I had to get a crowbar and take my fucking couch apart and then, like, get the fuck out of my house. Like, I don't have any fucking furniture anymore. Like, this fucking sucks. Like, I'm out $1,300 now. Um, they told me that they were not gonna... Uh, pay and then I was like well that I was gonna have to pay another thousand and I was like well, I'm I'm gonna get my Karen on like I'm just I'm gonna manifest everything that I have learned from people who didn't want to pay anymore at the pawn shop and I'm just gonna throw a fuck fit and um well they're coming back and they're spraying and I'm not having to pay another thousand dollars because that works like I mean when in doubt just fucking Karen like sometimes you just you gotta unleash the Karen and, um, like, just, just sometimes you have to, you know, just sometimes you are being fucked over and it's, like, necessary to Karen. And, um, because, I mean, like, the 100%, I feel like they were really trying to fuck me over. I don't know. I mean, like, maybe, I don't know whether or not that was right. I don't have a thousand dollars and this shit has to get done. And, like, they're the people that are supposed to do it. So, like, they just, I'm... I'm not going to pay them another thousand dollars. Like, I, I did everything that they told me to do and they said that it was fine. Um, fuck. I don't have any furniture. It sucks. Um, oh well. Is this the Jesus people said G I should not have made that fucking Jesus video? I know it was y'all. I know, like, y'all are like, I'm gonna pray for you to find Jesus. Nuh uh, you were praying that I get bed bugs, and then you know, you were praying that something like this would happen at work. Like, it, this was Jesus. Um, yeah, yeah, it was just another bad move on my part. Uh, but I, I don't, like, work isn't going to give me any time off to take care of this, and I could set my own hours with Cam, and I mean, I just, I feel like I'm just going to have to quit and take my chances, like, what the fuck else could I do? I might make less money, I might make more money, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go down at all, but I just know that I can't juggle my life and that it's not fair to my daughter. Um, I have to do one decent thing this fucking year because, uh, I basically had to work for free all summer long. Um, my bar didn't pay me. 
and um, we didn't see any fucking customers all summer. I got roofies for Mother's Day. I got bed bugs for Christmas, and my landlord said that uh, even though this half-assed remodeled duplex isn't caulked or anything, it was all my fault, and uh, I signed a bed bug clause, and um, that I had to pay for it because instead of the Santa Claus for Christmas, I signed the bed bug clause. So uh, happy New Year. Okay. Anyway, here's to 2024. I hope it's better. Bye.